I feel like not many people know the difference between these two situations. Let's say you have 3 to the power of 4, and then the 4 has an exponent of 2 with no parentheses anywhere. To simplify this expression, you must start from the top with 4 to the power of 2, which is 16. The reason you do this is because a constant, 3, is being raised to an exponent, 4, and then that exponent is being raised to an exponent of 2. The exponent is only applied to the 4. Then, you can do 3 to the power of 16, which is 43,046,721. However, let's say you have 3 to the power of 4 within parentheses, with an exponent of 2 on the outside. You must first do what's inside the parentheses, so 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. Now, we have 81 to the power of 2, which is 6,561. In this situation, a constant, 3, is being raised to an exponent, 4, and then that constant with its exponent is being raised to an exponent of 2. The exponent of 2 is applied to whatever is in the parentheses. You can also apply the power of a power rule for exponents by multiplying 4 and 2 to get 8, and then simplifying 3 to the power of 8 to get 6,561. The power of a power rule can only be applied in this situation where you have parentheses. The first situation scenario with no parentheses is what people refer to as double exponents, and I hope this video explained what to do in these situations.